everyone and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time tuning in my name is Latoya and today I am going to be opening another mystery box yes another one I actually got this one today I am so excited I'm so ready to jump into it um, I wanted to get into it as early as today but I had to wait and be able to share it with you guys and it is absolutely my pleasure to do that um, I ordered this mystery box um, let me let you guys see it it's a pretty nice size box here um, it came from New York and uh, the company is called um, Q D D N Y, which stands for quality discount deals, New York. So without further ado, um, let's get into this box. I think I said that, um, or maybe I didn't say it's supposed to be 10 pounds on their website, qddny.com. This is what they call their March box. So even though it's April, I guess they have um, boxes for the month before. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not sure what that means. You know, it's a, it's a March box, but um, I believe, um, I believe that this box was, Hmm, I want to say it was, I was trying to see if I had it on my phone the way I could pull it up, but I believe that this was $40 plus shipping. Um, I'm not sure, um, but it's supposed to contain um, about like 40 pieces maybe. So I'm definitely hoping that it will and that it will definitely be worthwhile. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into this box. Let's see what's inside. Um, uh, but if you're new here, um, like I said, welcome, welcome in. I hope that you will subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like these types of videos. And for those who are returning, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for watching. And let's go ahead and get in. And after I open this, I'm going to let you guys take a peek inside. All right, and I forgot to get my gloves, y'all, because when you're opening these mystery boxes, it can get really, really dusty. And I figure that's because, you know, it's been a warehouse. Because what I found out is that unclaimed mail cannot be distributed unless it's like 90 days old and they haven't been able to, um, you know, get it to the center, the sender, excuse me, um, and it goes unclaimed. So after 90 days, then they can sell it. Um, so as you can imagine, it probably gets, it definitely gets dusty. So here we go. Oh, guys. You can see, all right, lots of stuff for us to go through today. All right. So I'm just gonna put it down here. We'll work our way through it. All right, let's get to it guys. All right. So as I said um, in previous videos, I'll let you know like where it came from, but of course I won't give like the full address or anything like that. Um, this one right here, it doesn't tell me who, where it was going to, just says that it was, um, the sender was from um, Jamaica, New York. All right. So let's get in. And okay, very interesting. Here we are. This looks like an overlay for a keyboard. All right. Very interesting. Never have I ever seen anything like this. Have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Um, maybe you guys recognize the lettering, um, because underneath the, the English alphabet, there are some letters from another country. Put it down in the description if you know what letters, um, it's from. All right. Next one, and this actually feels like clothing. Again, it says Jamaica, New York. All right, it is something pink, very pink. Okay, and it is a, looks like a pink bag. All 
right. Yes, it is a pink bag, as you can see. It actually says the tote bag. Wow. All right, so I will have to look that up because I think that's a pretty nice brand, even though I've never shopped it before. Um, I've heard, I think I've heard this is a pretty nice brand. You guys let me know in the comment section. Um, it has a, um, a black zipper. Let's see how much room it has inside. Yeah, nice amount of room on the inside of it. Has um, pockets right there. Wow, feels like something is, is in there. Maybe it's just something weighted on the inside of it. Maybe it's like, um, this kind of reminds me of like a, is this like a lunch bag or something? And maybe um, it's insulated where it can keep the, um, the food cool. Yes, let me know what you think. All right, so I think that is, that is really nice, okay? All right, and the next item, let's just grab this one. You guys, there's so many packages in here. I hope you guys will stay tuned. All right, so this is an LED spiral wall lamp is what it says. Yeah, let you guys see. Come on, focus, focus, focus. If it'll focus, I think that's about as good as it's going to get. And let's just open it up. I'll let you guys see really quickly. All right. I like this. Got some cords at the top. Never seen that before. You guys let me know if you've use anything like that but it's a um, high quality LED spiral wall lamp all right okay this one's wrapped up pretty well and um, it looks like they may have I like, got all of these packages really wrapped it up or you know really wrapped it up and also um, covered up the uh, address, which is really good. I mean, for privacy sake, you definitely want to have the addresses covered up. Okay. So here's a pair of shoes. All right. And so these are some heels. They are a uh, size 37 and I don't know what size that is US. That might be like, I don't know, like a seven and a half or something, or not sure, not sure. All right, but here they are. Right, very cute. I'm not a heels girl. That's because they hurt my feet, okay? Just to be honest. But, and that's the only reason, I think that heels are super cute. You see, it's got the strap and the top to go around the ankle. All right. And again, if you guys know what um, size 37 is in, um, in si US size, let me know. All right. All right, next bag. This one says it was going to Mount Pleasant, Michigan, I believe that is. Okay. So that one wasn't completely covered. It's okay. Um, this is a size 3X. Let's see what type of clothing it is. Okay. These were actually... Uh, here we go. I'm trying to think of his name. Was he from Nightmare Before... Uh, yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas or something like that? Was his name like Jack Skelton? I have a friend of mine who is completely into that and she would very much know who this is. But I think that's his name. Let me know again in the comments. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm gonna... 
put it in the bag. And again, I want to make sure my hands are staying clean because if I'm touching white clothing and my hands get too dirty, you know what happens. It's going to rub off on the clothing or whatever I have. Okay. Next bag. I have, let's see, okay, it doesn't tell us where it's from, but these are some Chanel earrings. All right, very cute, very classy. Um, I've never owned anything um, Chanel, so but but I'm I'm guessing that this isn't um, authentic, <laughs> but nonetheless it is very cute, very very nice. All right, all right, okay. What is next? Okay, we've got a flashlight. And where was this going? Um, looks like it was going to St. Petersburg. A miniature flashlight. Let's see if it works. Right? Here's what it looks like. All right, let's see if it turns on. Nope, doesn't turn on. But oops, sorry. Just a moment. Yep, definitely gonna need some batteries. It looks like it's probably double, just one double A battery. So I will check that out later. But of course, a flashlight is always useful. Oops, always useful. Okay. And so what do we have next? All right, so, okay. <laughs> I don't know what these are. They look like little cones almost. It's three of these. And I'm going to open one up so I can get a closer look. So we can get a closer look. Maybe you guys can help me out. Uh, this is what this is. All right. And I don't have a clue. Like, I absolutely have no clue. Let me see if there's anything on the bag. Because sometimes they'll mark it and, you know, give some type of clue as to what is inside. Okay. Nope, so far I don't. It says dripping device. What does that mean, dripping device? Let me know, you guys. If you guys don't know, I don't know. So, all right. Well, we're going to put those to the side. All right. Moving right along another bag here another small bag let me see if i can open it this way i always try to be careful when i'm opening because i definitely don't want to damage the products inside all right and this is um some type of usb cord in blue let me see if i can tell what it goes to it says a usb data transmit and charging cable it looks like it might fit my iPhone, but I'm not sure. It could be useful. I'll try it out. Okay. Next thing, we're gonna open. And it is some rings. And the rings have um, some cursive writing of, and it's some bad language, you guys. Um, but these are the rings. I won't get too close. 
but they both say the same thing. It's an F-bomb, you know, adjustable ring. Like that. And open on the back. It is two of them. Wow. <laughs> All right. Keep it going. All right. So let's go to this one. This one's kind of interesting, right? I don't think that I've gotten one, um, a piece of mail in a tube. This was going to Annandale, Virginia. Annandale, Virginia. And so this is going to be interesting. Like, how am I going to get in this? Oh. Hmm. I wonder. If you do like this. Oh. Yes. Thank you, Lord. All right. So, let's see what it is, guys. All right. Let's see what this is. This looks like, honestly, if I can pull it down here, this looks like an anime character. Maybe like Goku. I can't remember the name of the, um, the actual anime show. But him in, in a... Um, some type of duplicate artwork of Starry Night, I believe is the original artwork. And they incorporated the anime character. All right, pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna try to roll this up as best I can. And get it back in the tube. What do you guys think so far? Let me know in the comment section. All right. Oh, I didn't roll it up tight enough, but I will get it later. Okay. You guys, we still got some more to go. We still got a ways to go. Let's get it. Okay. Here we go. The next one. This one feels kind of foamy. I'm not sure... Um, okay, it's just really, really packaged well about what's inside. Okay, it looks like a, is this a tiara? Hold on. <laughs> oh, goodness. Wow, wow, wow. I think it is, guys. I think it's a tiara. It is. All right. Sorry, guys. It's my alarm. It's a tiara. It's a tiara. I can take it out of the package. Where is it open? Oh. Sorry. I feel like I'm making a lot of noise with this package. Okay. Oh, and I really like the detail on this one, guys. Can you see? All right. Let's go to the next item. Right, next bag here, it looks like it um, may have been going to Fort Lauderdale. All right, let's get into it, see what's inside. Looks like we got more shoes. All right, more shoes. And let's see what it looks like, they're white. Size 38. Again, I'm not sure about the conversion to US size. I'll let you guys get a good look at them. If I can kind of straighten them out just a little bit. So you can get a good look. They have M's on the top and a gold zipper on the side. Not my style, but you know, they're also not my size, I don't believe. All right, so we'll put those there. Next bag. Okay, this is a scarf of some sort. 
Let me see where it was coming from. Uh, nope, can't see where it was coming from. So let's see, it looks like a scarf. I like the colors that I see so far. Or is a flag. Okay, you guys, what flag is this? I have no idea. Is this like an LGBTQ equality flag? I think that's what it might be. All right, put that there. All right, next bag okay and this was nope not sure where that's coming from uh, looks like some type of clothing let's see here still got the tag on size extra large and it's a black shirt with like a lot of stars on it. It's very cute. I like it. Very cute. Yes. I was trying to see if it was a brand, but it looks like it's um, it's probably um, like came from like AliExpress or somewhere. So not like a known brand, but. I think I still think it's a cute shirt. All right. Okay, here's the bag. I'm going to put it in now. All right. And next one. Ooh, I hear something jingling in here. What is that? Uh oh, cut the bag a little bit. Yikes. That's what I always try not to do. And I did it. All right. Ooh, it's a bag. Very nice. There's the back. And open up the flap. That's what it looks like. The inside, you have a thick chain. Wow, wow, wow. So, this is what it would look like. All right, pretty nice. Pretty nice handbag. And it looks to be good quality, too. All right. Um... Judging from like the packaging, it looks like it may have come from Shein or um, Sheen. How do you guys pronounce it? I have no idea. I, I say Shein because I um, when I was interested in buying from them, buying like clothes and stuff, I would watch videos on YouTube and that is how they would pronounce it. So. That is what I say, but I like it. I like that little bag. Very classy. All right. Next, what do we have? All right, something like a bronzy color. What is this color? All right. <laughs> it is from Chic Dog. Okay, I don't have a pet, but I do think that this is very cute. I have to admit, this is very cute. Look at that. You're talking about one styling dog, okay? <laughs> so, super cute. I'm hoping I can find somebody with a small dog that can wear that. back in there okay and next you guys we actually still have a good ways to go I am enjoying this box I love mystery boxes just I mean the thrill alone is is worth it for me not knowing what to expect 
All right, is this gonna be another flag? Let's see. I think it may be. Let's see. Let's see. Is it a flag? Yeah, it's definitely a flag. Oh my goodness, you guys. I don't even know if I can show you what this says. People are so funny. <laughs> oh goodness. Yep. Can you imagine if somebody were to hang that flag outside their house? Oh my goodness. I'm sure they would get a lot of laughs. All right. And awes <laughs> from their neighbors. All right, next, I have a box here. And it is a hat. It is a hat. A nice hat. Let's see where this came from. Uh, Sports World, okay. It is a, um, it says it's a World Series hat. I can't tell, I can't see the year right there. Maybe you guys can. But it says New York. It has a Statue of Liberty stitching right there. I think it's very cool. It's got the seal here. Size seven and a half. All right. Hmm, pretty neat. My first time, I believe this is the first time I've ever gotten a hat in a mystery box. Very, very cool. All right. And, um, yeah, it's got like a pink lining on it um, around the little World Series part. I don't know if that has a significant meaning and also the Statue of Liberty is stitched in a light pink as well. But yes, 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 indeed. All right, that. Um, I do have a box here, but it looks like it's a foam box and it is, it was going to Miami, Florida, all right. Oh my goodness, guys, how am I gonna get in this? Okay. Uh, what could this be? I wonder if I can like find a seam to um, cut into. Yeah, maybe. seam right here guys at the top okay what is this what is this <laughs> it's something gold it is something gold okay hold on let's get into this is this some type of bank is it, hold on, what is this? It's got some type of coil on the inside, but it's completely gold. And it's got like little feet at the bottom, if you can see. Um, let me see, what was on, let's see if we can get a clue on the outside of the package again, because sometimes they will give you a clue. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I that other part. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments what that could be. 
and the way that it was packaged up like that, I'm thinking, you know, maybe it was something really important. Um, but no, uh, well, I don't know. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I can get some clues from the label of what it may have been. Nope, so far, nothing. But, well, I don't know, guys. But, again, whatever it is, let me see, does it open? Okay, it opens. And it has this coil on the inside. This is the bottom. It has a coil. And then... This is the lid. Okay, interesting. All right, next things. All right. Um, this says it was refused, so I guess they did give it to the person and they decided that they didn't want it. Um, and this was going to Morristown. Um, is that New Jersey, I believe, is what it says. Something that was refused. Right. Looks like some type of light. Okay. Yeah, was this some type of light? Can I get into this? Without damaging the product that is. Okay, so yeah, it looks like, well, no, okay, guys, yeah, I'm tripping, I thought it was a um, light, but it looks like, yeah, it is a, um, a flat iron, I don't know why I couldn't get that out, but yeah, a flat iron, <laughs> was hard to find my words. All right, mm, and this may be pretty good. Um, it goes, um, the degrees are in Celsius. So I think this is probably um, China manu manufactured. So yeah, all right, we'll put this over here and I'll repackage it and everything neater later because we have so much, you guys. I mean, like, it's at least 20 more packages in here, and they're smaller. They are smaller. Okay. Next thing that we have in here. Uh, I don't know what this is. Okay, it says it is the mirror wall clock. I'll give you guys, I'll give you guys a look at it. This is what it looks like in the front and then on the back. Okay, is there like a, okay. Trying to find an opening here. Like, I don't know how this would work, but it looks like, um, okay, so these are the, de the design pieces of the mirrored piece of the clock. Um, and these are the different designs. I'm not sure which design this one is. Um, and then this is the mechanical device. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty neat. And of course, um, these are like the arms of the clock once you put it together. All right. All right, let me grab a couple of these because some of them are pretty small see what's inside all right looks like we got some jewelry all right and let you guys have a look-see um and I don't know this is like it might be earrings like some type of I don't know if you can see but like some type of, it looks like it might have been like a hummingbird earring. I'm not sure. 
And then these are, um, they look like either, either butterfly or dragonfly earrings. Right, very colorful. All right. Oh, I had some more over here. Oops, yep, gotta make sure I get through every bit. All right, and the next thing is a, um, is a necklace, it looks like. Let you guys see. All right, very cool. And it has some writing on here. It looks like it may be some type of Asian writing on it. I don't know if you can see it. But yes, I do like jewelry. I like getting jewelry. All right. All right, it looks like we got more jewelry. All right. And it's come out of the box, but um, I think, what does it say? Does this say Marley? I can't tell. Let me let you guys see. What name is that? Does that say Marley? It's very cute. But I don't know anybody um, with the name Marley. So, yes, very, very nice. Okay. Oh, and it was like the little clasp on the, um, on the case that it was in, it broke. So that's why it was kind of sliding around in there. Um, but, yeah. All right, I think that is the name. So, all right, let's put that back in there. Move it up as fast as I can. All right. And next, this looks like it was going to um, somewhere in England. Okay. All right. What is this? This is um, something called, is it, it says moon so? I don't know if you guys are looking at the words, if they're backwards or not. All right. And what is this? It looks like it is a bracelet, probably. Okay, you guys can see. Pretty nice, and I'll let you guys look at it long ways. Pretty nice and shiny. Looks like it's just all hearts going down. All right. Oh no, my camera's having a hard time focusing. All right, there it goes. All right, and as you can see, my fingers are getting dirty. Oh. All right, I will put this back in here. All right, I enjoy getting the jewelry. Just like the variety of jewelry. All right, let's see if there's any more that I put over here to the side that I didn't open yet. I think that's all, the ones I have put aside. Okay, more packages. Let's dig, dig in. Okay, is this a wallet of some sort? Uh-oh. Let's see. This is what it looks like. And this is the inside. Not sure. Yeah, this looks like a a wallet. You can put your cards in, and not sure if you can put pictures in. I guess you could if you wanted to. All right. I got that. Moving right along. Right along. Right along. Okay. Going in uh, just a little bit more. Uh, there we 
go. Alrighty. A few packages in here. Um, okay, this looks like, uh, let's see, it says Professional 3C Accessories brand. This is probably for like, like phone accessories. And it's like another one. I'll just take it out really quick so you guys can see. Same thing twice. Uh, all right. And then in the back. So I'm not sure. I mean, I, I was kind of thinking that it might go to a phone, but it may be something more um, with, to go with some other technology. These are all like the little um, types they have on the back. I don't know. Okay, we got that. And then I have two cables. Uh, let's see, yeah, two blue cables. And same thing. Yeah, two of them. All right. All right, put those there. Pick up a couple. And this one. All right, this is, um, looks like a keychain, <laughs> and it's very nice, um, and it says Louis Vuitton. Again, probably not authentic, but very nice nonetheless. All right, you see it that way. All right, very nice. All right, put it there. All right, next thing. Okay, this is a, um, hmm, it says easy on a cap egg twister tang a new adult concept that's it and it's sealed and i have no idea what is inside like i'm actually afraid to open it up um like something might just pop out at me um yeah i have to look it up and see what i um, expect if you guys know what's inside please comment below and again excuse my dirty fingers it's the packages all right and excuse me just picking down picking up some of the um, packages that have fallen down all right okay and what's next um, this is box is a little bit beat up but it says um, TRN and is it giving me any type of clue as to what it could be? Nope. So let's just open it up here. I didn't want to make this video too long, but I want to, you know, I want to be able to show you guys what is in each individual one, just in case if you decide that you want to get your own mystery box from this particular company or any company that I have um, bought from. All right, it looks like it is another cable. It's time in gray. All right. TRN. All right. Putting that back in the box there. Okay, and this was already open. I don't think I opened this one up. It was already opened. And what is this? It looks like Q-tips. 
I don't know if they're like special Q-tips, but that's what they look like to me. Individually wrapped Q-tips. All right. Anything else on here? Um, it says 20 piece alcohol stick. Oh, so, okay, so I understand. I guess um, you can release um, the alcohol into the Q-tip and use it. That's very neat. That's pretty neat and useful. Alrighty, and here we go. I want to make sure I don't, with this thin of a package, that I don't um, rip what's inside. Okay. And what is this? Looks like it's some type of skeleton canvas print. Small skeleton canvas print. Kind of neat. Anything else in here? Okay. Thought I felt something else in there. All right. And next. This is, looks like it's a keychain that's made like some type of weapon. Let me just take it out because it's already kind of got like a whole little package and it's kind of a heavy um, keychain as well. And there's the keychain at the bottom. All right. Let's put this to the side. All right. All right, guys. We are getting there. 